Today with Chef Pachi, I'm gonna teach you how to make two hibiscus things. The hibiscus drink and the hibiscus sauce for our pork or our ham. Take a ginger, remove all the dirt from it and cut it into little pieces. Then wash well all the flowers of the hibiscus. It, we're washing it really well. We transfer both the hibiscus and the ginger into a large pot because we are gonna cover it with enough water and an inch more. It's about eight to 12 cups of water. Then we're gonna add our amazing spice mix. It has white peppercorns, some star anise, curry or bay leaves, cloves, and cardamom. We cover it up first so that it comes to a boil faster. Then we uncover it and allow it to boil for about 45 minutes to an hour. You see it starts to darken and it begins to concentrate. When it's about three-fourths concentrated down, you can remove the flowers and then leave it boiling until it is half concentrated. This is almost about it, but you will see that it thickens a little bit more. You see, you can measure with a spoon where you are, and once you're ready, you're gonna allow it to cool down. You can keep it hot if you're gonna use it immediately, but if you wanna put it in jars, it's better just to let it cool. Now I'm gonna show you how I put it in the jar. This was a very heavy pot, so I started with a little bit and then just poured the rest inside. Hibiscus is filled with antioxidants. It might help reduce blood pressure and reset your liver. Now we're gonna prepare our pork, and I had my hibiscus juice already prepared. When you serve it as a juice, though, you have to add a lot of ice because this one is concentrated. Use two cups of brown sugar and two and three quarter cups of hibiscus juice. Bring it to a boil with a little bit of the same seasonings that we had before, some white peppercorns, then we add some broken anise seeds, some curry leaves, and if you don't have curry leaves, you can add some bay leaves, and bring it to a boil. You're gonna see how beautiful it looks. Shiny, red, amazing. Don't be afraid to cook it in high or medium high if your pot is thick. Otherwise, just cook it in medium high until it looks like this. We have cut our ham skin in all sort of little squares, just so that it absorbs more flavor and stick more than ever. This is how it comes out of the oven. Enjoy a delicious leg of pork or ham with hibiscus flowers. Chef Pachifit.